Hey there folks, welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. My name's Tori Favreau and I hope that this video finds you absolutely splendid. If you are liking what you've seen so far, please hit the subscribe and of course give me the thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to try something very different today, something I hadn't thought of doing before. So without further ado, we are going to open up the Harry Potter Season Series Seasonal Susu, the Harry Potter Series 2 minifigures that I selected by bag feel. None of them are open. I've grabbed 16 of them. I am hoping that there are no repeats in there, but I thought I would share this unbagging experience with you just in case there is tragedy. Um, please be aware you're allowed to laugh at me and at my expense. 16 bags bought, 16 bags will be open. Will I know who every character is? Maybe if they're named once I get the bags open, but I loved series one. Here is series two, and I am just going to get straight on with this. Once I clear my little mess I've made here, we'll be popping them down on this white base plate, and you can have a look at them all as we unbox them now. My understanding is that these are about to be retired. So uh, I thought now's a good time to show you them quickly. So if you do decide that they're for you as well, then you can get straight into it. Just rolling up the sleeves, getting ready to do all the hard work here. And I certainly hope that you do enjoy either triumph or tragedy at my expense. Let's get straight into it, okay? So the only thing I have done is I can confirm there are 16 bags there. I did count that because otherwise we would have been wasting your time and it would have been a little bit moronic. All right, so let's do this. Okay. Bag one. If you don't have the time or patience to sit through this, I totally understand. You can just jump ahead from figure to figure. All right here. Yeah. Now, I know that this figure, nothing in there, throwing the bag behind me. This is Albus Doubledore. One thing they've started doing with these two, this is annoying, is they take the, I don't know why they take these together and I don't know why I can't get, oh, there you go. Cut my own finger open. Not really kids, be safe with knives. Okay, so first off, here is the sheet. Some explanation in case we need it. Alrighty, here we go. So our first one, double door. Okay. <laughs> That's dramatic. <laughs> okay, come on, come on beardy. Get yourself sorted. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hello, I've got a beard within my beard. Alrighty, so, double door. I love the headpiece there, that looks really cool. Alrighty. Now, this little phoenix. Wand. Does anyone, is anyone under the impression that I'm going to end up with a few wands after this? I asked this before when I've done other Harry Potter stuff, and I will ask it again. But do you use the wands for anything else? Have you used them in the mock? Have you used them as spokes on an oversized bicycle? Can you put a wand into a claw hand? Is there a technique that I'm missing here? Because you're going to have to see me fumble. Seriously, mate. You're going to have to see me fumble with this quite a few times. There we go. Ready to cast spells. Be magic. Run Hogwarts, build an empire, get on there, buddy. Maybe you don't even have to. Do you have to? First, let's show the people. So he does look pretty cool. There we go. Bag one, check. So far, no duplicates. Bag two. Knife safety. Safety with knives. 
Who have we got? Alrighty. At least I've got the one um, instruction thing open, so I don't have to keep duplicating that. All right, so this is one of the Dursley... Dursley? No. <laughs> I told you I don't have a clue who I'm looking at here. This is one of the Weasley twins. If you know which one, comment below. I've got no idea. He's happy though. And he's got the Marauders map. Factually incorrect. By this point, I believe that Hazmat would have the set. Okay. Wandy Wand. Get in. Oh my god, seriously. I'm so glad I decided to share this experience with everyone. Okay. There you go. Bag, oh, come over, come on, show yourself off. Bag two, no duplicates. Honestly, it doesn't get any better than this, guys, does it? Scintillating. All right, bag three. You probably think, come on, Tori, just do this as a speed build. Like, totally, spare me the misery. Oh, this, this is going to be... Is this going to be? No. Now, come on. You seriously should be a little bit impressed with me here, guys. Other Weasley twin. No duplicates. Looking pretty cool. Now, I hope you guys can see that okay. Because uh, I might adjust that light or turn it off. There we go. Don't know if that'll help at all. But if it does, I've got a multitude of lights above me. Sometimes the angles work, sometimes they don't. Okay, don't, don't do that to me. Get onto your platform. Okay, so we've got a little suitcase here. We've got bricks. Why have we got all these extra bricks? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we will fit two of them. I'll see if I can bring them up close enough for you to look at. And stick to my fingers, Lego. No, no. All right. There you go. They fit into the suitcase, but there are extras of them. Okay. Lid O the suitcase. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Wand, extra bricks. The wand struggle is so real. I'm not even doing this for your benefit. There we go. Pretty cool. Three for three. I don't know why I'm trying to lay them so neatly together. That's going to be a mess by the end of it as well. Who have we got here, guys? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I can't remember her last name. Help me out. Luna, Luna something? Oh, she looks determined there. But she looks happy there. We're going to keep happiness as our theme. And she's got the lion head. That's cool. She's also got the regular hair. Okay. We're going to stick her with lion head at the moment because that looks pretty dope. Put with a hard P consonant, hey? All right. Get in there. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this. Four for four. 
ding. I'm going to have to put that there so as I don't forget it. Bear in mind, I'm half worried that I am going to go right through one of these at some stage. Okay, let's have a look here. Who do we have? Okay, so this is when you can not like me a little bit, all right? So there's her head. Ah, oh, she doesn't... I'm, I was going to say... You know, maybe she isn't happy about having Harry, but this is whatever her name is, Potter, okay? With a baby Harry. <laughs> and he's, of course, baby Harry would have a golden H put on to his little papoosey thing that he's got going on there. So, apparently in, um, in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, when you're a minifigure, you serve up your babies like pizza. So there you go. <laughs> Anyone order a Harry? So Mummy Potter. Mummy Potter. Get in there. Oh, she's bending over backwards for joy. Oh, see, I broke up the awkwardness of the silence there by just uh, rocking some tunes for you. So far, so good, guys. I, I've got a good feeling about this. But if not, it's okay. I've just left it too late to fix my problems. Are you guys excited for the uh, new Harry Potter sets that are coming out on the 1st of January, I did a video a couple of days ago about those. So if you do want to have a look at them, by all means, have a look at the back catalogue and away we will go. Now, this is something very interesting. This is Moaning Myrtle. And as we know that Myrtle hoint, hoints, what the heck? Myrtle hoints. <laughs> she haunts the toilet. Now we're going to make her upset. Okay. Oh, I love this headpiece, though. That is really cool. Let's have a look at her little grumpiness going on. Oh, I'm not very happy. The toilets haven't been cleaned. Wow, wow. Okay. So. Okay. So she has got one of the new little study studs there that goes into your feet. Not yours. Please don't. It's bad enough when you step on Lego at night time. But uh, goes into like that. And then onto the actual plate itself. So she can be floating. She can not be happy about life. And she has got... Let's have a look here. Ah, my name is Harry Potter. Hello. Is printed on there. Dun, 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 dun. Now, in case you haven't seen that before, see how the one on the right-hand side is a little bit thicker? That's one you can uh, put into the little claw hand, and she can float around with the book. There we go. And if you want to know um, whose it is, the, book's, the book is owned by none other than Tom Riddle. Oh, come, come here, Myrtle. You are a great-looking figure. The head piece there, the... the um, the hair is rubberized. I, I quite like it. It's not hard plastic. Um, no, that's a cool little fig. Make sure that she's standing there, otherwise she'll fall out part way through. Okay, so a little bit of elevation there for Myrtle. I like it. And they gave you an extra one there if you want anyone else to float. There we are. Okay, now, okay, this is cool. So this is from, uh, I believe, Fantastic Beasts. 
Oh no, it's not. Forget that. Let's just say I'm gonna. Do you reckon this is Neville or C um, Cedric? Don't know. But all I do know is, so far so good, considering I don't know how much they are in your neck of the woods, but they're between six to seven dollars over here. I paid six dollars a figure. So at the point that we get to laugh at me. It is purely because I have made a six or seven dollar mistake. Okay, so pretty cool. Of course, obligatory wand. I really shouldn't put them in the stands first because I'm probably doing it wrong, but I'm having to put a lot of pressure on them to hold the wand. I am generally conjoling them non-stop to just obey. Okay, so this is an awkward one for me. So, um, guys, I believe this book is none other, just give me a moment here, please. It's none, none other than the Necronomicon. That's a horror movie reference. But I hope you all laughed for like two seconds and that someone corrected me below. Tell me what the book is called because I honestly cannot remember what its title is. But if you did enjoy that joke, just um, give me a thumbs up, please. I'm really, you know, really scraping the barrel at the moment for my Harry Potter jokes and joviality. Alrighty. Who is next? I'm going to put the the cup in the in the other hand. Does anyone know who that is? I've got no idea. No idea whatsoever. Looks like someone with a drinking problem, to be honest. Or could it be Ron Weasley? I tricked everyone. We're doing well. You're helping. Don't just think I'm taking all the credit for this. Whoa, crazy studs. Okay. Oh, I could, I could have totally sliced and diced a cape then. Things could have ended badly indeed. All right. Not sure why this was hidden inside a bag, inside a bag, but they do that sometimes. Let's dispose of those. Alrighty, so pretty fancy little robes going on here, and I love the purple. Looks amazing. Happy. Oh no, this dude's only allowed to be happy. So that makes me happy. Is there any trick to how you put this on? I'm guessing there's not. It's a very loose material, so it should just hang down. And like a lot of the uh, robes and capes that you pretty much have to force to play the game. Okay. Funky hat as well. I'm loving it. Now, let's have a look here. I'm not doing this to be stupid. I remember seeing this guy in the movies. He's not a major character, though. I've got no idea what his name is. So please drop a line below so as I am educated and just say the name of the guy dressed in purple is... Insert name here. But seriously, if some of you are going to be cheeky pranksters, don't just write insert name here. Because, like, one, I'll laugh. Oh, my Lord. Well, I'm glad there's two ones because... That has fallen below me, folks, onto 
dark carpet. I'm sorry, the only thing that's going to find that wand is a vacuum cleaner. There we go. So we've got the wand, and of course, got the broom. Looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. I do like the detail. Looking pretty cool. Remember guys, the name of the dude with the purple clothes is, because I don't know. What have we got here? All right, looks like we've got one of the professors. Now, this is from memory from her biology class. And I can't remember her name. I am going to kick myself when you guys all start reminding me. Okay, I do like that. It does look pretty cool. Sorry, that's my fault. That's cool. Now, I think she can look content. What do you reckon? Content or disappointed and saddened by the fact that she's worked her whole life and she's still stuck at Hogwarts. I love the hair and the ear mitts. And you know why? Because when these little dudes just, oh no, I made a mistake there. There'll be more to that than that, surely. Oh no, she's doing the whole pulling it out thing, so it is hidden. When these guys, come on camera, help me out. When these guys come out, they scream. Things are quite morbid sometimes at Hogwarts. All right, so I'll move her over to here. And this little guy on here. There we go. I like it. Have you noticed something else too, as we're making our way through this? Oh gracious, I've got to give her the power to cast spells as well. All of these wands are just drive me nuts. Um, there we go, I'm getting good at that. Good job, Tori. All right. Have you noticed, sorry, getting back to what I was saying, have you noticed something else? And I'll tell you what it is, but I think some of you may have already noticed, and that is, so far, so good. We have not doubled up yet. And we now have, I think it's Bellatrix Lestrange, Ooh. Um, she'll look stern, I think, in this one. That is a striking looking minifigure. There we go. That's better. Even the hair. That looks cool. That is really, really cool. It even curls over. So notice how it's obscuring part of the face. And someone could laugh and go, that's because you did it wrong. I can assure you I haven't done it wrong. So she doesn't know if she's going to cast spells, have manacles, or just do a bit of everything. So on the picture that I'm working from here, she's got a bit of everything going on. So we're going to give her a bit of everything going on. There we go. So that's the Azkaban signage there goodness me not nah, blurs out blurs in where's your focal point there let's move it that's better that's a lot better Tori good job you good job wow she's so evil she gets two sets of handcuffs I mean that is something There we go. Thank you, Bellatrix. You are a kooky girl, but very dangerous too. Yeah, she doesn't look at all happy there. That looks wonderful. So far, I hope that you're liking this because I'm having a downright hoot 
And I do think that um, these minifigures have got sensational detail on them. The only one that looks the lamest out of this so far is Luna. Sorry, Luna. It's not your fault. Alrighty. Each time I open these, I like apprehension. Am I going to get the double up? All right. Everyone's favorite sister that ends up becoming a love interest, I believe. Ginny Weasley. Tell you what, it's so weird. Until you put the dress on, her arms look so terribly pale. Oh, and look. Lego decided that her head would be on a stake. Let's fix that. Pop that on there. We'll make her more than happy. Flowing locks. She's coming together nicely. Bit of an ice cream going on. Bit of an appetite. After getting the, you know, the house burnt down. She's like, Mum, it, it wasn't the Death Eaters. I left the stove on. Sorry. Alright, and a wand for you, Ginny. Get on there, please. Please get on there. Okie doke. Now, guys, if you're getting exacerbated at this stage and you think, Tori, Tori, just make it all stop, then I am very pleased to tell you we don't have too many to go. I opened that up with a fierce sense of abandonment, so who have we got here? Oh, another one of the lesser known characters. Let's have a look. Just joking, it's Hermione. Say hello, Hermione. Hello. Hello. When I say hello, I go out of focus. All right. Your three sheets to the wind with your drink as well. I'm sure it's just pumpkin spice, but you've put something else in there for a quick little drink. There we go. So she is dressed similar to... Ron and is ready to take on the world one jumper at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we're going well, and there are three to go. Or I should say, you're doing well if you've sat here and watched the entire time. Okay, so in case you don't know, this suave looking fella, as we find out, you know, a bit of a bully, but nonetheless, is Daddy Potter, who made uh, Mr. Snape, Professor Snape's life a misery all the way through school. But he's still got a photo of his family, including a baby. Harry, no, he's not. That was before they, before they had the child, before the relationship was consummated. Okay, so this is when we were young and free and having fun. And then Voldemort visited one fateful day. He does look cool though. It's hard to really see it clearly and I apologize. These things are really hard to zoom in on. But um, he does have like little glasses features and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool figure. I've just got to keep, as soon as I move it, it jumps around. So apologies in advance. Wow. Okay. All right, folks. So this is getting very real. Two to go.
Alrighty, so let's pop this one together. Certainly don't recognize them. Don't recognize them at all. No, don't know who that is. Still don't know. Still don't know. No, no idea. Maybe the headpiece will help. Nope, still no idea whatsoever. Nope. Do you love the fact I left it zoomed in by mistake as I'm making it? I don't. Hello, strange minifigure. Take that book and, while you're at it, unrecognizable figure. <laughs> it's getting that upset, it's just throwing the wand away. Whoever you are. No, nah, no idea. Oh well, some lesser known character maybe. Some lesser known character. Last but not least, let's zoom back out. If I can do that, come on. There we go. Tell you what, looking at that video, I should have uh, stayed zoomed in the whole time. That was some pretty good detail there on that unknown figure. Now, here's the big test. This is the big test. If I got it right, it needs to be that dude. Oh, that looked so good as it spun off. That was like Hollywood quality special effects. Okay. Bit nervous. Oh, yeah, buddy! Okay, I think this has been a job exceedingly well done. And I'm going to thank you guys for helping make it possible. Because I reckon, if I just look at the sword, now that is cool. I reckon if I'd just been left to my own devices, I would have ended up with so many duplicates that your head would spin. Just hold the sword, bud. You don't have to keep it. And a key. There we go. Tell you what, Lego, the Lego world just must be full of skeleton keys because they all look the same. There we go. So, 16 for 16. Nothing but success for us. And let's do a little celebratory. Let's move. Oh, just stop doing that Myrtola okay go in a little bit more so we can see them that's pretty cool I think we did a good job together guys that's what I'm trying to put down to so folks thank you so much for watching this was a long video but I wanted to yeah put it to the test would 16 blind bags bought unopened would they contain a set? I didn't want to stop it. I didn't want to jump it. I wanted to do this as one fluid recording. So as you guys could see, if we got it right or if we wasted money. And I do think that this is nothing short of a stunning success. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to be bringing the content. You be sure to be watching. Share your comments and your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you thought of this series. I do reply to everything. And until next time, as always, very, very happy building. Bye.